All right, and we're back for another Central Oregon Shenanigans video. And today we're going to be working on the expedition. Um, we're going to be working. I was going to build, I got down here a plate from the um, metal yard to um, build the engine towers, but I'm going to wait. I don't have enough time today to build the tower, so this is not going to be a tower video. This is going to be a fuel tank video. So with that said, go ahead and hit the intro. All right, so what we got going on over here is I mentioned in the video getting the Jeep that I felt I did some work on the expedition this morning. I didn't film it. I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling like I was wanting to be on camera. What I went ahead and did off camera the other day was got the whole sending unit, fuel pump, assembly, whatever you want to call it, this plastic piece just on screws. I had to take a, a flat blade and tap on these. It was pretty corroded on there. But um, took it out. You want to be careful of this guy. That's what reads your fuel, how much fuel you got. It's the float. But what you got to do is we can't just use the lift pump and suck through this pump. This will, you know, not work very well. So you got to delete this. So what I did this morning, I was at Napa. I went and got some brake line and there's two things we could do here we could I did get the right size we're gonna have to cut this down the reason I went with brake line is for the flare at the end so when we go to clamp this there's no way for this to come slipping out of there so we just got to take a measurement mark it um, I'm gonna measure from this this top of this rubber piece to the bottom here I'm not going to be reusing this piece. We're going to run a really hot rod filter, filtration system. So I think I'm just going to cut the, one of the ends off and then we'll clean it up really nice. And um, yeah, this will work really nice. This was only like four bucks at Napa. Alrighty, so it's a seven mil. I can't find a ratchet. Don't know where the hell the ratchet is. So this is going to be interesting. So it's a seven mil on the fuel pump. I'm going to go ahead and get this nut out here, get that clamp off, ah, boom, a pair of um, wire cutters will solve your problem on that clamp, get your needle dicks out. I should have grabbed a corn dog this morning. I'm a bit hungry now. Thought about it. Should have. All right. So we know that that's the positive and the negative on the fucking fuel pump. I don't know what to do with the wiring down in the tank. We don't want this live. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do, there's not extra wires in the tank, I'm going to clip it here, I'm going to clip it here, don't need these wires anymore, I'm also, on the very top of the thing, I'm looking at this, we've got some emission sensor bull crap here. So I'm just going to leave it in there with the wiring. I've got power that I just clipped. That one runs straight through this plug to here. I know it for a fact. And then this wire, the ground right here, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate 
to the ground, and I'm going to eliminate that. That way there's no power down in the dam tank, but I'm going to leave those two wires there just so it's sealed up still. So you just got these two wires left over, which is for the float, so we have a gauge that reads there. That eliminates having power in the tank anymore. Everything used to be color-coded on this, but you could probably leave those wires alone. I just don't want power in the tank. If you know what I'm saying. This gasket looks pretty good. I'm just going to clean it up a bit. Anyway. Alright, so now on this guy, these come with a sticker on them to tell you what size it is. You need to get rid of all that paper. You don't want that down in the tank. No more sticker. So now I've already got a measurement. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna cut this. We'll be right back. Alrighty, so now I've got that marked out with a Sharpie right there, you can see. I'm gonna cut it with an angle grinder with the um, cutoff wheel. This piece hung down in the tank below this bracket. I cut it a little long, but oh, there's a little sharp burrs on this. I actually cut it pretty damn good with the grinder. With the cut, uh, where are you? Where are they going? I think that this flare is too flared. I might have to sand that down a little bit. Or what if we don't? What if we don't? Go with the flared and just use a couple clamps then we'll use this end as our pickup i like that better that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and find something to clean the end of this out with this is gonna work out good guys this is the, i lucked out and guessed on the size of the piping and it looks like i got the right size for the job i deleted it i got it on i'm gonna put this ring back on tighten this nut down or this bolt down that way it'll hold the pickup tube from doing any crazy shit inside the tank contain it a little bit that's the ring that holds on the fuel pump that we deleted two clamps just to be safe I've already checked this make sure it doesn't hit the bottom of the tank um, yeah, so let's go ahead and reinsert this in the hole. Making sure it wasn't sucking on the bottom of the tank. Blech. Yep, we're good. <laughs> and that is how you delete your fuel pump. So now we're going to relocate the camera. We're going to reinstall the fuel tank today. And, um,. Go to town and pick up a freeze plug we've been hunting well i've been trying to hunt down a freeze plug for the oil filler neck delete because you guys remember this is an industrial uh 4bt so it came with the the filler oil filler neck i don't know what size this is and i've been gosh darn it just turn on and stay on see that hole right there I just took the duct tape off of it yesterday because then... Yeah, there we go. 
I've got to get that capped off before I start building engine mounts because the engine mount lays right over the top of that sucker. So that's why we couldn't use that filler. We're going to be buying a valve cover on the front one. We're going to take that one off and swap it out with a uh, one with the out of off a 12 valve Gen 1. It's got the filler hole. Maybe just to save time and money real quick. Let's go look at the 6BT out back that we picked up. Might have the valve cover already. And if that's the case, I'll just use it for now until we get that engine rebuilt. Ugh. Got to get this moved into the shop. We don't have valve covers with this engine. Yeah, that yeah, we do. We just don't have them here. They're at a different location. So no, we don't have anything. Anyway, I got to run to Napa. He ordered me some um, plugs today and they should be in by noon, he said, from the bin store. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the tank back in and call that good for today. Go get the freeze plug, put that in, and then we'll work on engine mounts probably tomorrow. All right. Let's try not to have a 9,000 moment here. The blue is fuel. Yeah, bigger one. That back in. Return line. Come on. Back in. Okay. Plug the wiring harness back and click. two-person two job there guys believe it or not it hurt all right let's tilt this Jesus. well I liked it coming down I don't like it going back up again She's not cross threading, she's spinning now. But no, not gonna go that way. There's nothing that should be in my way. It's just a fuel tank. It's just a fuel tank. You. Well, I like these at the beginning of this project. Now, I don't care for them. At this point in the project, you should probably walk away. I didn't, I did all this work, I didn't make sure that I could still get this shit to hook it back up again. I can, sweet. I gotta get back up in there and tighten that down. Gotta get up in there, tighten that for down. This whole metal strap shit was a pain in the ass. What time is it? I think it's time to go to town. I don't even know where I put my phone down. So anyway, we'll catch you in a minute. I'm gonna jump out of here, go to Napa, grab a corn dog, maybe a six pack of beer. It's my day off now. Yeah, it's noon. By the time I get to town, it'll be 12.30. So we will catch you in a few minutes after I get back from the parts store. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm back from Napa. What do we got here? Since I didn't know what freeze, <laughs> since I didn't know what freeze plug to buy, I've got a whole handful of different sizes that they had in stock. So if one of these don't fit, I guess we're then. Uh, I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try one and a half first. I think that's. I don't know. Let's we'll try this biggest one first. We found it, guys. It is a <laughs> last one too. It's an inch and a quarter. All right, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and tap it on in there. Just doing a little tap, tap, tappy. I'm gonna stick this like that. Yeah, not like you can see it or anything. Get it started. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is find my socket and bring our extensions out to here. Look at that, guys. And now. I don't want to drive it all the way in there. Take a look, see, and see what we got going on here. Should have done this before we put the engine in. I kind of lost track of it. Of course, socket falls off. There you have it, guys. Nice, tight, tight fit. We got the freeze plug put in, as you seen just a second ago. Um, nice, nice, tight fit. So it's an inch, what did I say, inch and a quarter? Um, freeze plug, if you guys get an industrial model and you have to delete that um, filler neck off the side of the block, like I said, we're gonna go to a valve cover, um, oil fill system, and or timing chain cover, which we've already put the gasket. I'm just gonna get a valve cover. So um, I think that's gonna conclude this video today, guys. Pretty much just had enough time to get the tank done today, which that went super easy, minus the part where we were putting it in by ourselves. Always helps to have a uh, helping buddy or another hand around to um, put a big tank like that underneath of a vehicle back into place, but I did it by myself, so. The next video that I'll be filming on the expedition will be the uh, engine towers, um, fabbing those up. Go ahead, guys, and subscribe. If you have not already, give that big thumbs up, comment down below, and we will catch you next time. And we'll catch you next time on Central Oregon Shenanigans. Bye-bye. Next time on the Expedition Project. Yeah. We probably got...